We have been here all along here trying to help everybody navigate the unemployment maze, and we are starting to hear that finally some folks, not everybody, but some folks are getting some payments. But they've seen them stop with no explanation as to why now. On your side, Jocelyn Howard tells us what she has learned in all this. The confusion doesn't seem to stop, and a lot of that seems like it's due to lack of communication. I learned from the Department of Economic Opportunity that payments are now being distributed bi-weekly, but no one has seemed to be notified about that. It just demonstrates that the state of Florida is playing with people's lives by not giving them their benefits, but also not giving them certainty to at least know that benefits are coming. State Representative Anna Escamani noticed her constituents stopped receiving weekly benefits around Memorial Day. First it started as a as a rumor online and then I asked RDO contact and he said yes we're going towards bi-weekly but I don't think there was actually any public announcement. So claimants missing payments took a deep breath and had to put bills off to the next week but that next week even more problems arose. Now we have a situation of thousands of Floridians missing their FPUC $600 payments. FPUC pays an additional $600 of benefits each week in addition to other unemployment insurance. Escamani believes these missing funds correlate to switch to bi-weekly payments. The department tells me it has identified two technological concerns that halted FPUC payments. One being individuals who requested their claims be backdated and the other being people not paid for their waiting week. The department tells me that it should have this resolved quickly and claimants don't need to take any additional steps. What we see happening are issues compounded on top of issues compounded on top of issues and Folks will be homeless if DO doesn't get this right. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.